Well, our friends at uh, Alzheimer's New Jersey are about ready to kick off their Walk to Fight Alzheimer's events. Uh, First one is coming up very soon, and it's going to be a very busy five- or six-week stretch with uh, a bunch of great events that are happening all across the state of New Jersey. And joining me now on the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline with some details, he is the president and CEO of Alzheimer's New Jersey with some more information. Uh, We have Ken Zaints, who is back with us uh, here on WCTC. Good morning, Ken. It's Bert Barron. Good to talk to you. How you doing? Good morning, Bert. It's good to talk to you, too. Yeah, so uh, we're going to get going. Uh, the first one is already coming up uh, this Saturday, and this is a beautiful one uh, for the first of the four walks uh, for the Walk to Fight Alzheimer's. Something very magical about, they call it the Jersey Summer because all the tourists are gone and you get to enjoy the Jersey Shore. Uh, this one is coming up this Saturday at Point Pleasant Beach, and what a great way to kick off the uh, series of the Walk to Fight Alzheimer's events. Yeah, it really is. It's um where, as you said, it's a, it's a long stretch of walks, but they're all great events. Um, they all have different locations, different personalities. But, you know, the reason we're all together is the same, to help fight Alzheimer's disease in New Jersey and, you know, certainly to make programs and services expanded and more widely available for people in our state who are challenged by this disease. Yeah, and it's pretty remarkable. There's a statistic that you shared with me last year, Ken, that still every once in a while will pop into my head, and I still find it hard to believe. But I guess if you think about it, it makes sense that one in two people, 50% of us, will either uh, have Alzheimer's or will be forced to care for someone who is afflicted with this. That is remarkable. I can't think of anything else that has a 50% sort of connection rate like Alzheimer's does. It's pretty remarkable. It is, and and the unfortunate thing is that, you know, this is is a disease that, you know, that right now has no cure um, or even uh, we have no way to slow it down. So the number of people who are impacted in New Jersey, 500,000 who either have the disease or are caring for someone with Alzheimer's or other form of dementia, you're right. It's it's pretty incredible. The, the impact is just huge. Yeah, it, it really is. And I saw something over the weekend, Ken, that I wanted to uh, make a point to you today on. It was something that I saw on the news over the weekend. Uh, there's a, a town in Long Island that's opening up something that they call a respite park, and it's basically designed to be just sort of a, a very quiet place for uh, people with Alzheimer's and dementia and their caregivers to just sort of go and enjoy this very tranquil sort of surroundings. There's no playground. There's no screaming kids. There's no uh, baseball or softball field right next to it. It's basically nothing more than just those a couple of walkways, some benches. There's uh, a little pond or a little lake that's in there. There's USB ports where you can plug in and listen to some very soothing music while you're enjoying these very scenic surroundings. Uh, is an environment like that, Ken, is that something that has a, a real sort of benefit to, to someone who is afflicted with this, where just to kind of like enjoy just a very quiet and very serene uh, environment, is, is there an upside to that? Well, certainly for caregivers, Bert, respite is incredibly important. You know, when you're a caregiver, um, the challenges of, um, you know, taking care of a loved one, sometimes, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week can be extremely stressful. So, Having the ability to to get a break, um, to take some time for yourself, whether it's in an environment, um, as you just mentioned, which sounds uh, wonderful. I actually saw that uh, that same report, and um, or you know whether it's just being able to be with friends, or or taking time to get your hair cut, or or do banking, or whatever it is. And one of the programs that we provide, which of course is funded by the by the the money raised um, through these walks is our respite care and wellness program, which does teach caregivers about the benefit of taking care of themselves and and provide some scholarship money so that caregivers can access uh, respite care services in their own communities. Yeah, very important, of course. Uh, Ken Zaints is our guest. He's the president and CEO of Alzheimer's New Jersey, and we're here to give you the schedule for the upcoming events uh, with the Walk to Fight Alzheimer's. And I think it's important, Ken, that we remind people that the walk donations, 100% of the walk donations go to support uh, individuals and families right here in New Jersey uh, who are dealing with this on a day-in, day-out basis. And that's one of the things that I think is real special uh, about with Alzheimer's New Jersey and the work that's uh, it's being led by you and being done by a, an incredible staff of people there. Uh, but the first one comes up. Uh, it is this Saturday. It is the Southern Regional Walk, and the uh, place for this one, an absolutely gorgeous spot, Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey. 
It will kick off at the corner of Arnold and Baltimore Avenues uh, on Saturday. And uh, Ken, uh, if I'm not mistaken, would this may, was this the best attended of the four walks last year? It had to be with the big crowd you had there at the beach. Yeah, it's it's certainly one of our one of our best attended. And actually, when I was waiting for you to uh, to put me on, I heard your weather report, and it sounds like we're going to have a pretty good day for Saturday. So it does look good. Yeah, and that always helps, of course. But the, the first of the four walks it will come up. Uh, Saturday, September 23rd at Point Pleasant Beach. Uh, the other three walks will all happen on weekend days uh, in the month of October, which uh, the weather is still going to be beautiful, and these are great events to attend. Uh, the next one, uh, which will be the first one that I attended last year, which will be at Liberty State Park in Jersey City. Uh, that will be on Saturday, October 7th, the Liberty State Park uh, Regional Walk, which is another real good one right there, just a beautiful spot. You're right in the shadow of the Statue of Liberty and uh, the New York skyline is right across the river there. That's a real nice destination. It will continue on Sunday, October 22nd, with the Central Regional Walk that will be at the ETS campus of Princeton, which is another great place to, to go for a nice walk and, and really raise uh, awareness and be with friends and family. And it'll wrap up uh, once again with the Northern Regional Walk on Sunday, October 29th, and that will be at the campus of Bergen Community College, another great place to go for a nice stride. Uh, that, of course, is in uh, Paramus, New Jersey. Uh, so if you could attend one or all of these walks, uh, it'll be a tremendous way to help out the uh, Alzheimer's New Jersey. Again, 100% of the donations support Jersey individuals and families. And uh, Ken, uh, I had a chance to talk to some people last year at a couple of the walks that I attended and just to hear their stories and, and hear what their journeys have been. Uh, and and people just, uh, there's this bond that people have that when you, someone will, on the stage will mention a statistic or mention a, a memory about something. And it will just sort of strike a chord with everybody in attendance that it's really a remarkable thing to see. It really does. And it's the kind of event that, you know, that lets people who have this disease and their caregivers know that, that you know, unfortunate as it is, they are certainly not alone. Um, and, you know, it introduces people to our services. But it's also an opportunity, even if you don't have a personal connection to the disease, for the community to come together and help us really sound the message that Alzheimer's disease has a huge impact on our state and that whether you're personally affected um, or whether you're part of the community at large, you know, just sending that message through these walks that we need to do something, we need to do more, um, we need to support these families. Yep, I agree. So again, the first uh, walk to fight Alzheimer's event will come up this Saturday, beautiful Point Pleasant Beach. Uh, in Jersey, right there on the Jersey Shore at the corner of Arnold and Baltimore Avenues. Uh, where can someone go, Ken, to get uh, information on the registration or more details about Alzheimer's New Jersey? Where do they go for that? So the best place is our website at alznj.org. And then right at the top, you'll see the Walk to Fight Alzheimer's uh, logo. Just click on that, and, and you'll have all the information that you need to participate. Good stuff, Ken. And we will be speaking with Ken Zaints or other representatives of Alzheimer's New Jersey as the series of walks continues throughout September and October. But a great way to kick it off today with the uh, president and CEO, Ken Zaints. And, uh, Ken, I want to thank you again for taking your time uh, to speak to me this morning. And good luck with the events coming up. And uh, I'm sure we'll see you at at least one of these as we go forward. All right? Yep, sounds good. Looking forward to it, Bert, and looking forward to, to welcome your listeners who, you know, who could join us as well.